Hey, this is Russell Allen, and you're watching Metal Whiny. Greetings from Metal Whiny. My name is Carl O'Rourke, and we're delighted to be here in London with Russell Allen of the legendary progressive Metal Master Symphony X. Welcome, mate. Thanks, man. Uh, just to talk a little bit about the tour that's currently underway, uh, could you tell us just how it's been going so far and uh, how the new songs have been going down? And are you striking a balance between all the material, or is the new songs get, are get, getting a push into the set list now at the moment? Uh, we're doing the entire Underworld in its entirety, if you will. So, uh, wow. yeah. So, we're not doing it all in uh, chronological order, we just kind of break it up over the course of the night. So, uh, but it's been going over great, and people really like it. So we're excited about the response we're getting from fans. It's, it's really cool. That's fantastic, man. Uh, so you guys are currently supporting Over the World, as you said, which came out yeah. in July, and it's, it's seen continued success uh, ever since. Two well-received yeah. singles, worldwide chart success. You uh, landed a top ten spot in the first ever progressive charts as well. Yeah. I was just wondering what what's that been like uh, from the band's perspective. Uh, you know, th those type of things, big, th you see the effects of those way later, you know. It's nice in the immediate moment to get that praise, but it's really, when you come over here and you play the shows and you see the people singing the songs and you see that you're having some impact, uh, do, you, do you really feel the, the, uh, the, 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 um, the immensity of that, you know. So, it's really cool that we have uh, a song or two that is, that's actually charting here. Uh, we're really proud of this record and we're proud of these songs. and. And we, we put a lot of heart and soul into it, so we're we're just very grateful that people yeah. people are responding and they and they like what we're doing. So that's really all all, all any artist can ask for these days. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, and yeah, with the very and um, distinctive catalogue you guys have, it's really encouraging to see that you guys actually broke away and took a few risks on this album as well. And yeah, yeah. We always try and try something new, yeah. even if it's just a small change. There's a lot of Old Symphony X on this record, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of older, in, you know, influences from when we first started. And, and most noticeably, would probably be in the singing part. Maybe, yeah. Whereas this, the songs are more uh, melodic in terms of their presentation. I'm not singing. I'm singing clearly, not as gravelly or, yeah. or growly as I have been on the past uh, two releases. So the vocals so, really do set this part, set this album apart. Oh yeah, different quite sure. Different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and doing some vocal styles I've never done in the band before have also uh, sort of helped to make the album unique and, and different from the other ones. It's really working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it's great. And you know, we're really we're really happy with the results. And, and uh, the, uh, the touring cycle that we're on is a two year and a half touring cycle. So we're just starting to feel the impact of the record. And can't wait until the summer comes and we're back for Bloodstock and we're back for. Yeah. You know, a, you know, a really great metal festival, and see what what kind of reaction we get there. And mm -hmm. So we're we're excited about the this this album and and Symphony X having a resurgence uh, yeah. here in Europe as a whole, not just the UK. So it's, yeah. so yeah, uh, the singles that were released, Nevermore and Without You, both of them, they had a lot of split opinions, and also within the band because the fans saw Without You as like the record's ballad, but I know Michael was kind of not object to that, but saw it as something something else, he wasn't really responsive to it being a ballad of sorts, I was just wondering why that might have been. I, I, don't know what, I don't know what the hell he's smoking in that vaporizer, <laughs> it's a ballad, it's, yeah. a, it's what we would call a power ballad, Yeah. you know, but yeah, it's definitely more of a mid-tempo ballad-esque yeah. you know, sort of song. Uh, you can argue that Swan Song is more of a real, you know, uh, a ballad, but that's, to me, less of a ballad, that has more of a prog. Mm -hmm. Sort of a, of a feel to it because there's a lot of different levels in that song. It goes all over the place without you kind of stays in the same fold, if you will, and it just has a in the bridge section it kind of picks up in tempo a little bit, not literal tempo, but the, the feel of the song seems to pick up with energy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a ballad. I mean, you know, I don't know what the hell he's talking. About. <laughs> Fair enough. But, and yeah. yeah, so Symphony X now you're going you're two decades, over the past two decades now with the with this real tight lineup and you kept it together like a family. It's just, how do bands now endure that? Like, you know, how, how do you guys get to that point? Um, well, we've always persevered. I mean, we've never been a flash in the pan sort of an act. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's not the kind of music uh, we make and that's not the kind of genre we, we dwell in. So, but there's been a lot of others in our genre that have come and gone. So mm -hmm. we feel uh, blessed to be where we are here, still making music and still being able to have a a career, but uh, you know it's it's been it's been challenging to say the least, and the breaks have not helped us. Uh, mm -hmm. They've they've uh, 
added to the mystique of the band, they haven't necessarily helped us to grow. So it's always a interesting sort of, uh, how can I say, <laughs> phenomenon, if you will, that this band seems to maintain its, its uh, level of success and then go a little bit more each time after disappearing for so long. So, yeah. But it's something that we've kind of become known for. So I just don't know how many more disappearing acts this band has left in it. So I'm hoping that that underworld, that, you know, is going to carry carry us for a while, and then yeah. see if we can, you know, follow it up sooner than later. Because I just don't don't know. I mean, you know, it's uh, life catches up. Yeah. You know, so, and uh, but other than that, you know, we're we're happy to be where we are, and we're totally grateful to the fans for yeah. for believing in us and sticking around as long as they have for these albums. So. And speaking of maintenance, just as you said there, my next question is going to be, your vocals on this album are very different, but you're one of the great singers in that little recorded and live. as well. Do you take many precautions to maintain your voice? Um, you know, I just try to stay hydrated and stuff, drink a lot of water. And I do exercise a lot now yeah. these days, whereas earlier in my career I, I didn't really take that good care of myself. That, that, you know, I, was, I was partying a lot and stuff. And, <laughs> As anybody would out here, you know, to have it, have fun. But uh, you know, I I went to an in-ear monitoring system and things that I've done to help me preserve, you know, my voice. And I, I definitely am happier being able to perform, you know, nightly at the same level. Whereas in the past, I'd have to struggle. I still have doubts. You know, it's traveling. So you know, we're going to be every show's going to be great. Tonight, tonight, I hope I'm, I'm okay. I'm a little tired. Um, so you get, you know, battling sickness on the road is always a problem, things like that. People get colds and, then, you know, for singers that's the Achilles heels, anything in the throat, those are chest. So, so luckily, you know, knock on drywall, <laughs> skull, I haven't had, you know, too many issues with that. But I've had some other problems, you know, out here. So I hit the gym, I try and stay in shape and, and uh, stay active, so physically I'm able to do it. Yeah, and you stay active quite a bit. You work with a lot of other, other musicians as well. Do you have any other projects going on at the moment? I do. I have a couple of things. One's like a charity sort of based thing for autism that I've been working on with a, with a, a great Italian composer. Uh, I don't want to say anything else about it right now, but we'll, sure. we'll wait. But, but, you know, that was something that I had done with a, a few years back, but it started to become, you know, to come into light. And, of course, I'm in Transmarine Orchestra and uh, the lead singer in that band. Mm -hmm. um, and the only, you know, and the mob, of course, I'm still active with the adrenaline mob. So we're just, uh, after AJ passed uh, this past year, you know, we, we just uh, didn't really have the heart to do anything else. And besides, uh, you know, this was coming out and the symphony actually was getting going anyway, so the timing was kind of good to just, you know, let it, let it lie for a little while. But other than that, I just do uh, you know, appearances or anything. It takes me a day or two to, to come in and sing on something for, you know, if I'm interested or for a friend. Not most people I work with, I know. Yeah. You know, so I, I rarely take stuff from people I don't know unless I'm really into, into the music. Um, but I've never toured with any other band except the German uh, and now Transmitting Orchestra in my 20 plus year career. It's been only, only with Symphony X. Oh, yeah. Cool, man. Uh, yeah, so we were actually just talking, uh, we were talking with Jordan from Dream Theater there not too long ago, and he said that in his opinion, there's too many prog metal bands at the moment and uh, the music they create lacks emotion because of that. I was wondering, do you agree with that? Um, I'm not going to comment on anybody else's artwork. It's, you know, to them it means, you know, a lot. And so, you know, who am I to, to judge, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, personally, I, I'm not very into the, the product scene. I mean, I don't want to come off as being you know, distant or whatever, but I'm just not that kind of guy. I'm a rock singer. I'm a heavy metal guy. That's what I bring to Symphony X. I'm not a, I'm not a prog fan. I, I should say to the to the extreme that most of the band's fans are. You know, they know all these bands. They know, you know, I'm listening to, you know, old Van Halen records and Led Zeppelin and Deep Purple and Rainbow and Dio and all the guys. You know, if I'm listening to something like that, like old school metal, I'll put Priest on or Maiden or that's my go-to stuff. I'm not going to throw on a UK record. I'm not going to listen to, you know. Uh, yes, sir. I'm not gonna. I like it, but it's not my thing. So I'm not really following the scene as much as uh, you know, as much as people might think I do. Yeah. I'm more of a rock and rock-based singer. So. Cool. You know that. Man. Uh, yeah. So um, just to just to kind of wrap up, um, I was, uh, we're our magazine's based in India. We were wondering, did you know that you have a very big fan base over there, and that 
India's never actually seen a band like Symphony X play over there. Uh, yeah, I heard you guys are very interested. We, we've, we're very interested. We've been talking a lot with trying to find the right promoter to, to get us over there and, and to make it a reality. So that's, that's been an ongoing conversation for many years. The problem with a band like this is that we, we need a certain level of production, not like, like, you know, explosions and stuff, but we just need the gear. You yeah. Know? biggest thing for a prog band is to be able to hear the notes if you don't have the instruments and the PA and the right drums and you know it's what's the point you know you yeah. gotta listen to the, 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 to the details the intricacies of the music so we have to pay for a crew we have to pay for good sound people good light person good stage hands so we can have a band in a comfortable place so we can provide the best show we can we yeah. just haven't found that particular setup yet yeah. in India but we're we're very well aware of the fans there we, we only can ask them to hold on, just like this song says. Just hold on. <laughs> We're on our way to you. And yet, now finally, with uh, the continued success of Underworld and the tour heavily on the way, the only question left is what's next for Symphony X, or can you say anything about that? Yeah, right? yeah, we're looking at South America now. Uh, that would probably be announced in the coming days uh, for May, around May, late May, early May, somewhere around there, in May. Yeah. And then, uh, the next thing we're probably going to be be doing is we'll, we'll probably take off, you know, a few months uh, for personal stuff, and then we're out doing the festivals in the summer. We're going to be here at Bloodstock in the UK, and we've got Bakken coming up, and uh, a couple others. Then uh, later in the year, it's uh, a U.S. run again. We're looking at uh, we're going to be doing a Loud Park in Japan. So maybe part of that, you know, October run, we could. Trying to get India in there and Australia and a couple other places. We're trying to build on that Loud Park show to, to help pay for the flights and everything yeah. to get us to those other places. So that's, what we're, that's, that's pretty much the year. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, finally, thank you, Russ, for taking the time to talk with us here at Metal Wine. Greatly yeah. appreciate it. Best of luck with the rest of the Thank tour. you so much.